This starts with a glow, not from a bulb, a screen, or a satellite, but from something older, something alive. Floating through forests and fields, fireflies have flickered across human memory for centuries. But behind that soft golden flash lies a secret, one so efficient it puts modern technology to shame. What if the answer to better lighting wasn't in our labs, but already perfected in nature? As our cities fight energy waste and light pollution, a team of scientists turned to an ancient insect for help. What they found could reshape the future of light. And it all begins with a bug. Fireflies, nature's most efficient light. They drift through summer air like living sparks, but fireflies aren't just magical, they're master engineers. These small beetles produce light using bioluminescence, a chemical reaction inside their abdomen that converts energy directly into visible light. But what makes this extraordinary isn't just the glow, it's the efficiency. Fireflies can convert nearly 100% of their chemical energy into light, something no man-made bulb has ever achieved. While incandescent bulbs waste over 90% of their energy as heat, and LEDs still lose a large portion in internal reflections, fireflies perfected this process millions of years ago. They flash to attract mates, warn predators, and communicate in silent bursts. And they do it without wasting a drop of energy. Ancient cultures noticed. In one Chinese fable, a boy collected fireflies in a silk bag to study through the night. Their glow, his only lamp. But this wasn't folklore exaggerating nature. It was nature quietly outperforming our best inventions. Today, that soft flicker may hold more than romance. Scientists have begun to study not just what fireflies are, but how they shine so efficiently. And in doing so, they've uncovered clues that could transform our entire approach to artificial light. How LEDs work. We often take light for granted, flip a switch, and it's there. But behind every LED bulb is a carefully crafted dance of electrons. LEDs, or light-emitting diodes, work through a process called electroluminescence. When an electrical current passes through a semiconductor, it excites electrons. As those electrons relax, they release energy in the form of photons. That's the light we see. Unlike traditional bulbs that burn filaments or rely on gases, LEDs are solid-state devices. They're made by layering ultra-thin sheets of materials, typically gallium compounds, on top of a base called a substrate. These materials are doped with atoms to create regions of positive and negative charge, forming a junction. It's at this junction where light is born. This design makes LEDs highly efficient in theory. They don't waste energy on heating the way incandescent bulbs do. They're compact, durable, and long-lasting. Yet for all this, something is still missing. Because while LEDs generate light inside, not all of it escapes. Some photons get trapped, some bounce around, others disappear into heat. So despite their reputation, LEDs often shine far less brightly than they should. And to understand why, we need to look more closely, not just at how they generate light, but how they lose it. The hidden problem inside LEDs. At first glance, LEDs seem like the perfect light source, compact, efficient, and cool to the touch. But deep inside these devices is a flaw that's been quietly limiting their potential. It's not how they make light. It's how much of that light never escapes. This issue is called light extraction efficiency, Imagine a room full of light, but only a few windows to let it out. That's what happens inside an LED. Photons are produced in abundance, but many of them bounce around inside the semiconductor layers. Instead of shining outwards, they get reflected, scattered, or absorbed back into the material as heat. Why does this happen? Because of the sharp contrast between the dense materials inside the LED and the air outside. At these boundaries, light often hits at the wrong angles, steep enough to reflect internally instead of passing through. It's a phenomenon called total internal reflection, and it traps light like a hall of mirrors. Even the best LEDs may only emit 40% of the light they generate, 
Some fall far lower, which means energy is being wasted not in creation, but in escape. To fix this, we need more than new materials. We need a new surface, and nature already built one, the secret surface of fireflies. To solve the LED's light trapping problem, scientists turn to a curious source, fireflies, specifically the surface of their lanterns, the organ that produces their glow. What they found wasn't smooth, polished, or symmetrical. It was chaotic, irregular, full of microscopic ridges and jagged textures. And that, it turns out, was the key. These tiny structures don't generate light, they release it. When photons inside the firefly's body reach the outer cuticle, they face the same challenge as LEDs, escaping into air without being reflected. But fireflies have evolved a brilliant trick. Their outer shell is covered in uneven, tilted surfaces that scatter light in many directions. Instead of bouncing back, more light finds a path through. This kind of asymmetry disrupts total internal reflection. It introduces randomness, variations in angle and depth that increase the odds of escape. The result is a much brighter, more visible glow without increasing energy use. Modern LEDs sometimes use textured surfaces, but not like this. The firefly's surface isn't just rough, it's intentionally irregular. Nature didn't design it for beauty, it is designed for output. And now, for the first time, researchers are recreating that same chaotic brilliance in artificial light sources with stunning results. Asymmetry, angles, and escaping light. The brilliance of the firefly's lantern lies in something surprisingly simple, disorder. Not chaos in the messy sense, but a purposeful lack of symmetry. Its jagged, uneven surfaces scatter light at unpredictable angles, giving each photon a better chance to escape. This randomness, it turns out, is exactly what LED technology has been missing. In standard LEDs, Flat surfaces and sharp material boundaries trap photons. When light hits these boundaries at steep angles, it reflects inward instead of shining out. This is known as total internal reflection, and it's one of the main reasons LEDs waste so much light. But asymmetrical surfaces break this trap. They scatter light in all directions, offering more exit paths. Think of it like trying to roll a ball out of a box. On a flat surface, it bounces back. But on a rough, uneven surface, it can find its way out through countless small angles. By mimicking these random textures down to the microscopic scale, engineers can disrupt the photon traps inside LEDs. The surface stops acting like a mirror and becomes more like a funnel, guiding light outward. It's not just about brightness. It's about letting energy do what it was meant to do, be seen. Reverse engineering the firefly. Once scientists saw how fireflies escaped light loss, they tried to replicate it. The answer wasn't new materials, just new shapes. Researchers created surfaces that mimic firefly textures. One method added a jagged overlay to existing LEDs. It wasn't cosmetic. These ridges scattered trapped photons outward. Another group went further, modifying the LED's core. By cutting the sapphire substrate at an angle, they created a tilted surface like the fireflies. The result? Dramatically better light extraction. No exotic compounds, no bulky redesign, just geometry. This is biomimicry at its best, not copying blindly, but understanding nature's logic and improving our tools. Fireflies evolved their glow over millions of years. Engineers replicated it in just a few. Record-breaking light extraction. Firefly-inspired surfaces delivered stunning results. One group saw a 55% boost in light output using an asymmetrical overlay on standard LEDs. No core changes, just a smarter surface. The breakthrough came from angled cut sapphire substrates. Mimicking firefly structures, they reached 90% light extraction efficiency, a record. Most LEDs emit less than half their produced light. Reaching 90% means brighter output, less energy loss, and lower heat. This wasn't just academic. The researchers patented the design. It was approved in 2020, 
proving it's viable for real-world use. Even better, it's scalable. The angled cuts can be made using existing tools. Mass production is possible. For years, we've tried new materials, but Fireflies taught us something simpler. Shape matters. Letting light out isn't about force, it's about flow. The bigger picture, pollution, power, and the future. More efficient LEDs sound ideal. Less energy, more light, but each advancement carries risk, like light pollution. Ironically, fireflies, the very inspiration, are suffering from our growing brightness. The problem isn't the tech, it's how we use it. Brighter LEDs can reduce energy if we dim them, but if we flood every space with light, we undo the gain. Efficiency needs balance. Better lights should mean fewer fixtures and smarter controls, not unchecked expansion. Fireflies didn't over-illuminate. Their glow was timed, gentle, and meaningful. That's the real lesson. We're not just replicating a glow, we're being reminded to listen. Progress isn't about maximizing brightness, it's about knowing when enough is enough. We often imagine innovation as something new, cutting edge, synthetic, born in a lab. But sometimes it's ancient. Sometimes it floats on wings through the dusk, blinking softly. The firefly didn't just inspire a better light. It reminded us that efficiency doesn't mean complexity. It means harmony. As we race towards smarter cities and cleaner energy, we'd do well to look backward as often as forward. Nature's designs hold answers we've only begun to understand. So the next time a bulb flickers on, remember the insect that lit the way first. If this story sparked something in you, subscribe. There's more light to uncover.